Hello, here is Moon and today I'm going to pick and guard Kaba Micro. So first there are different versions of it. There are some that are kind of soldered on a PCB, a through hole mount, um, 8 pin locks. That's one that I believe is most um, common in the United States because it was sold at some point very cheaply. And there are 8 pins in two rows, so you see on left and right four rows each. And there are actually four Bibles so that you can remove key in this position and in that position. Then there are switches like these. Um, just different type of switch and they are available also different. So this one for instance, it can also be removed in both positions but it has only one row of pins, so um, the lighting is probably not great, but you see there are pins here, but this side is empty. But it does have two Bible, Bibles, one there and another is there, so that you can remove key in this position and in that position too. Oh well, it's not on that, but on this side, but anyways, two Bibles. Two Bibles, four pins. Then this one is keyed, same as this one. And it also has two Bibles, but they are opposite to each other. So in this position you can remove the key. You can, you can try to see the pins. Um, so here on the one side and uh, let's see if I can show it. Yeah, hopefully it can be seen now that there are both sides there are pins and there are two Bibles on left and right corresponding to both of them, but there are no Bibles here and there. So when you turn it, you cannot remove it. All right, and here I have one of them gutted, and that's the version that I will be picking now. So this one has two rows of pins, uh, two Bibles can be removed in one position only. And let's have a look at the pins. So they are tiny, so just for the comparison you see on the right are kind of regular ones and here are the ones from the Kaba Micro. So they are really small and they are tapered. So longer key pins have tapered end to them and longer drivers have also tapered end. And that makes it, yeah, kind of easy to overset and the feedback is not so great. So. Let's now get one in the wise and see if I can pick it on camera. So cannot get the key out this way, can get key out this way. Let's let me show the pins. So yeah, two rows. Everything's populated. I didn't got this one yet. If I manage to open it, I will try picking as well. Uh, oh, uh, got it again. So let's see how it goes. I'm using this multi-pick 1.5 millimeter tensioner outside of the keyway so that I still have enough space and multi-pick number 10 tiny flag. So let's go. Okay, one on the left is binding. Click, one on the right, click, two on the left, not sure, two on the right, not sure. All right, let's go to the back because the last one on the right, I know it's a need to get a deep. All right, seems to work. Now let's see what else is left. 
and when I'm going to set the left pins I'm indexing on the right ones, kind of slip the pick between two and then turn it in the opposite direction and when I'm setting the right ones I'm using the left row to uh, index and then uh, pick that way. Now I'm looking for the binder. Oh, click on the right. Sync three on the right is still too high. And the last on the left, I think, as well. Some click. I think right row is okay. The left one. And I'm sliding on the bottom of the pins to see if I like their position. Ah, second on the left is too high, I think. So let's index on the right side. Or is it okay now? I think there was some core rotation. The last one on the left. Somewhere one of the pins is not set, I think. Okay, right row does feel okay. Never does it. Yeah, so left one again. Last pin feels fine. Second on the left, I think. Still quite high up. second on the left but I cannot get to it for some reason. Check right row again. Still feels good. And left row. And why can't I get behind the number two on the left? It's two on the right. Let's check that one. And now I might have overset it. 
because there is empty space in the second position. So I am releasing tension and starting over. One on the right, uh, on the left, in the back, because it's just easier to test there. Okay, again, middle ones. Click. Uh, second on the right now. Or maybe on the left again. Okay, now there was a click. And it's open. Ooh, took some time, but yeah, you see, worked after all. And now the most fun part. I hope it will work out. So let me lock it again. Still works. Get it out of the device. Get the device out of the way. Here is my custom follower that I used to cut it. So first thing we need to do is disassemble the housing. One side. Come on the other side. All right. So let me show you how works eternally. So the cam or the back side of the key with the slot of the lock turns this thingy here and it in turn, so I'm not sure which way it should go, but when we remove it, you see there is a wire that touches two contacts that would go on the PCB and in one position of this cam it pushes the wire down where when it will not have the contact and in the other position it push, pushes it outside so it will short both of them. All right, now the next part is getting this out. Let me take a small flag again. There is a tab over there. If we put it up. We can slide this whole thing out. All right. That is just decorative. This is the housing. And now the most fun part begins. Oh, where do I have my gut wrench? Here it goes. That is needed to remove the clip. Carefully. First, it needs to be aligned though. Come on, get out. Oops, clip is out. And now nothing is preventing us from taking the core out. Let 
And you know what? I will gut them right away. Because this way it's easier. Okay. Second or the the rear row fast pin. That's that goes here. The front row and the front one is the one shift shifted to the front of the lock and the rear one shifted to the back of the lock. All right. go next one going to take the key out who just two more to go okay one is in the air. I have seen where it went, but I will have to look for it later. And the last one. So minus one pin, I will just take the corresponding one from the other lock, which is same to have it complete. And the key pins, that's the front ones. One. That's this one. Who? That's quite intense. Let me get the pick. housing or the, the core I mean and here is this one this one this one and that one so yeah it's getting to be quite long but for this long as this lock I think it's worth it 
So here you go, Kaba, Micro, picked and got it. And you see all those nice tapered pins. Yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for staying with me for all those 20 minutes. Bye.